Hello everyone and welcome to a new video, MC Mora here and in today's video we're gonna be talking about Alex and how you can fight against him and Alex is one of the characters who have a lot of damage and stun output and also have really good neutral, there is a strong robbery factor there, he can rob you blind so a lot of players actually struggle against Alex but we are here today to talk about how you can deal with him the first aspect we're gonna cover is obviously the neutral and Alex actually have some really good buttons in the neutral. The two most important ones are the crouching medium punch, this crouching medium kick, and he also have a pretty good standing medium kick. The crouching medium punch, this one is actually ridiculous. It is 7 frame startup, the range is gigantic as you can see, and it's only minus 1 on block, so it is amazing as a poke. He does not get that much out of it, but it is amazing. However, you have to understand something about Alex to start doing well against him. Alex have slow anti-airs. His main anti-airs are the standing and crouching heavy punch and obviously the EX knee, right? All three of these are kinda slow. So when Alex is throwing out pokes like that, he is leaving himself open for jumps. At least even if he doesn't get to anti-air, he will have to hold the bottom. So for example, if he is doing too much crouching medium punch, you get to jump in on him like we just seen, right? And remember, Alex is a character that does not have a 3 frame and does not have a reversal. So if the Alex is sitting from this range and is harassing you with mediums all day, know that you can jump in on him and you will have to hold it. And once you're up close, like I said, his defensive options are weak, so you can get to exploit him on defense, right? It's very important to know. From this range, it is very hard to actually challenge him, right? From this range, it's very hard to have normals that can beat them. It's very hard to wave punish this crouching medium punch. You can. Some characters like Colleen. Colleen actually have a retarded crouching light punch that can punish stuff like that, but this is pretty difficult. Not everyone is a wave punish goddess like Colleen, right? So it's hard with a character other than Colleen or characters who excel at wave punishes. Otherwise, you want to stand from a little bit of further range like that and either I would prioritize him with heavies or get the jump in from a closer distance. So if you're from a little bit of a distance like that one, crush counter normals like that are good and obviously the standing heavy punch is ridiculous, right? So you either can stand from a further range and I would prioritize it or if he's doing it up close, get Z with punch. That is the main way that you can deal with the harassment of his mediums in the mid range. Now there is other pokes that are actually really good. The light punch slash elbow. Notice the voice line. He's saying elbow. This have about a dash range, right? And uh, it's pretty good. It is safe on block. He's gonna be minus two. But if he happens to whiff it, you can easily whiff punish it. This is easily whiff punishable in my opinion. The medium slash elbow is a lot more interesting. He moves forward a lot more. Notice it have a lot more range. But it is minus 6 on block. So if you happen to block it, you absolutely get a punish on him. He is saying elbow in both of the voice lines, but the distance traveled is quite dramatic in terms of difference. So Again, light is about dash distance, while the medium one is actually quite dramatic in how far it moves forward. The other moves are of course the stomps, and these are pretty difficult for many players. First of all, they are overheads, right? So if you are crouch blocking, he is gonna hit you, and they are plus on block, right? They are plus two, so he is threatening after. Obviously, you can anti-air him, right? But again, with normal anti-airs, you are suspect to trade. Obviously, if you're someone like Colleen, you can just parry, but not everyone has that option. There is an option that everyone have, and that is V-Shift. If you happen to V-Shift it, you should be able to get a punish. See here, we will plus 5. So maybe you can get a punish like that one. That is an option. However, there is something you have to realize about these tombs. The stomps does not hit airborne opponent, it only hits grounded. So if you are in the air, it will not hit you. So if he's doing it again, let's check it one more time. You can jump even as late as possible. And you will still avoid it, right? And remember, 
his uh, anti airs are kind of slow. So if you see him flash yellow like that, you can actually just neutral jump. And even if he blocks, again, you are at an advantage. So there are a couple of ways to deal with this. Obviously, another one is just blocking and V reversaling. This is an option that can, some characters can use. Colleen does not have a, an amazing V reversal in particular, but neutral jumping, V shifting, or anti airs are pretty powerful options for everyone. Obviously, the other move is the grab, right? And the same concept still apply. You can just neutral jump and punish it. You can also V shift it and punish this one. It is a little bit dangerous to V shift, but it is possible, right? And uh, that is pretty much the main tools for Alex. There is one final very important tool that you have to know. And this is very important when they want to activate V-Trigger. And that is the Standing Heavy Kick. The Standing Heavy Kick is pretty good, but it is very whiff punishable. So if Alex player with it, right? This is one attack that you kind of have to practice with punishing in my opinion. But it's very important that you do so because it is going to be used a lot. Like I said, primarily for V-Trigger activation. So it is, it, its range is right around here, around the dash distance, right? It is minus 4 on block, but it can be spaced to be safe. So if you can out footsie him, make it with, it's pretty easy to get a whiff punish on him. And that is pretty nice. Obviously his neutral is strong, but like I said, there is a lot of commitment from the side of the Alex player. So let's now check out what you can do when Alex is pressuring you. Because I know so many players struggle when Alex is very up close in their face, point blank, and applying his forward heavy punch pressure. It is obviously the star of the show for Alex. And there is a tree of options going around here, so let's check it out. This is a plus four on block, the forward heavy punch. So afterwards, he can command grab you. If I try to mash, notice I get command grab, right? Obviously, you can backdash here, and the backdash will uh, escape from the grab. However, the issue is, if you happen to backdash, the standing medium bunch is gonna hit you grounded, and that is gonna be troublesome. Another thing is, obviously, if you try to backdash, you will get crush countered by a, another one. So, there is a considerable amount of risk to backdashing. So let's check out what happens if you actually take the command grab. What happens if you sit there and take the command grab? Notice that Alex was plus 15 on the command grab and minus 4 after the dash. Alex does not get dash up into OK. Notice he was minus 4. So if he actually grabs you and then dash forward, you can wake up with your 3 frame or even 4 frame and get a punish on him. This actually applies to the EX version as well. So if he does the same thing but he did the EX command grab. Right? Wake up with your lights and you will actually get to punish him. Not even counter hit punish him, punish him period. So that is very very good to know. It's very vital to know versus Alex. Now what happened if he does the medium bunch follow up? Right? Sometimes many Alex players commit to medium bunch into the slash attack, right? Notice that the slash is minus 4 on block. So you can actually punish this as well. Right? The slashes are minus 4 at best. And the heavy one is even minus 6. The slash attack from Alex is one that I very rarely see actually get punished. But it is punishable guys. So make sure that you are actually getting a punish on this one. Now he can do a little bit of a gimmick and do the heavy slash. Right? And if you're standing there and blocking and just waiting to punish him, you will get command grab by the follow up grab. Right? See even if I try to mash here, I actually get grabbed. So this is kind of annoying and kind of gimmicky. But there are two ways to deal with this. He can only do this after the heavy. And notice the voice line. When he's doing the medium slash, he's saying attack, right? So the medium slash is attack. Now let's check out the heavy one. Go, right? So if he's doing the heavy one, he is screaming go, right? So what you can do here is if you have a read on this, 
neutral jump and you actually get full combo punishes obviously you can backdash as well if you want and again you get full combo punishes on it so remember the if he's saying go go is the heavy one which have the command grab follow-up this is very important to know and obviously if you are someone like Ryu here you can just mash on your uh, EXDB and you will punish him regardless again characters with fast invincible reversals you have this option now finally what happens if he is uh, spamming the uh, forward heavy punch like that obviously you can V-shift it you will get a punish but this carries some risks because if you do it too early he might delay his forward heavy punch and catch you in a crush counter but honestly this is one of these things where you have to call him out on it so for example if he's doing it like that there is such a big gap here that you can challenge with your mediums it is not a safe string at all right like this is alex being greedy as hell if he is going for that he knows that you will respect him so much and sometimes you will have to challenge him for it so yes the are the mix up after the forward heavy bunch is obnoxious but obviously you can take your turn he is carrying some risks as well and obviously you can obviously be reversal it if you want the forward heavy bunch is special cancelable by the way so he can stop this but again v reversal is an option if you don't want to deal with this situation altogether so let's now check out alex's v skill 2 and then his v trigger 1 v trigger 1 is a kind of an annoying v trigger it has done a lot of robbery and is responsible for so many twitter clips over the year but trust me guys it's way easier to deal with and you will have much easier time dealing with it after watching this video but first let's check out the v skill 2 v skill 2 for alex give him a special to special cancel right so he can do stuff like the medium slash elbow into the slash or example into the stomp but the thing that you have to know here is that the properties on the attacks do not change right so the slash is still minus four so you can still punish it if he cancels this into the storm for example again it's gonna be unsafe this up close so you again still get the punish so regardless if the attack is unsafe if the final attack is unsafe he can still do it notice the flashing on the bottom right you will notice that his v skill icon is flashing and when he when that is flashing you actually have to hold the special to special cancel but like i said the properties on the final attack does not change if it is unsafe you will still get to punish it with no problems now let's take a look at his v trigger one because v trigger one again this is very problematic for so many players v trigger one give alex an attack it's called the sledgehammer it is this charge attack and this charge attack have an auto parry attached to it right so when he's doing it if you try to hit him out of it as you can see he will auto parry your attack he is doing it too early this time so it's not working out but as you can see he will auto parry now so many players struggle against this they don't know what to do sometimes they will try to jump back but then they will get hit it could be obnoxious but there are multiple things that you can do so first of all it is throwable so when alex is doing it you can just throw him out of it right throwing it is actually a very legitimate and very powerful option so that is one the second thing is when alex is charging the sledgehammer when he is charging the attack he cannot let it go like he cannot cancel it he have to let the attack go so he will either hit you with an uncharged sledgehammer or he will fully charge it there is no alternatives and there is no charge levels right if you happen to block an uncharged one it is gonna be minus eight on block right so at minus eight on block you do get to full combo punish it right however you might worry because alex if alex is charging fully charged one is an unblockable right so many players worry about that so here is the trick here is what you want to do you want to block and listen to alex's voice line listen to alex if he complete his grunt we shift immediately and you will get a full combo punish so again let's take a look at it if he is doing the uncharged version we're gonna be blocking 
he did it early, we got the punish. Now he's gonna do the fully charged one and again, listen to Alex. Listen to the voice line. Make sure that he fully completes the voice line. You V shift, you will time it right, and you will get to full combo punish Alex for it. If you wanna see it one more time. That's pretty much how it goes. If you do this, I guarantee you will punish this charge attack every single time. This is probably the single easiest charge attack to punish because it is unsafe if he prematurely releases it. And that is pretty much it for Alex. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment. I will be leaving a link to the Patreon page and the Discord server page in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe.